If you've ever seen a truck with not four, but five axles and thought, why does it need that many wheels? You're not alone. Today, we're diving into the world of the five axle truck, also known as the 10 by four. Let's break down the name first. A 10 by four truck means the vehicle has 10 wheel positions, not necessarily 10 tires, and four of those wheels are powered, meaning four wheel drive. Typically, this setup includes two front steering axles, three rear axles, with the middle one usually being the main drive axle. This layout is common in ultra heavy duty rigid trucks. Think mobile cranes, modular flatbeds, and construction site haulers. Each axle isn't just there to look impressive. They all play a role in spreading out the truck's massive weight, both for legal compliance and road safety. And in setups like mobile cranes, where the crane itself can weigh over 20 tons, these extra axles are absolutely essential. Without them, the truck wouldn't be road legal, or even drivable in many cases. So why cram five axles under a truck? Simple answer, weight distribution and legal limits. In Europe, road laws are strict. You can't just throw a massive load on any truck. Every axle has a maximum weight it can legally carry. Most European countries allow about 11.5 tons on a driven axle and around eight tons on a non-driven or steering axle. That means a three axle truck can legally carry only so much before it's overloaded, regardless of how powerful the engine is. Now, imagine you need to move something truly massive, like a mobile crane, a concrete boom, or a transformer. That equipment might weigh 30 to 50 tons by itself. The solution? Add more axles. Every axle increases the total legal gross vehicle weight, while keeping the load per axle under the legal limit. This keeps the road safe, the wear and tear reduced, and the authorities happy. In crane trucks, the crane is often mounted on the chassis, meaning the truck carries the load at all times, not just during transport. That makes those extra axles absolutely vital for maintaining stability and structural integrity. The 10x4 setup gives you the flexibility to legally and safely haul heavy loads while keeping the truck compact enough for tight European roads. The benefits include higher legal gross weight capacity, up to 44 or even 50 plus tons in some countries, better axle load distribution, reducing road wear and protecting bridges, improved braking and control, since more axles mean more braking surface and better load balance, lift axles that can be raised when not needed, saving fuel and reducing tire wear, this setup is especially vital in industries like construction for transporting gravel, cement mixers, and excavators, heavy haulage, wind turbine blades, generators, steel beams, mobile crane transport, where the crane is integrated into the chassis and weighs as much as the load it lifts. In fact, most of the largest truck-mounted cranes in Europe use a 10x4 or even 10x6 layout. These trucks must support both static weight when lifting and dynamic loads while driving, requiring maximum axle support. It's not just about hauling cargo, it's about turning the truck into a self-contained heavy lifting system. In a 10x4, the configuration of the axles is smart, often more intelligent than it looks. Here's a common layout. First and second axles, steering axles, third axle, driven axle, this is where the power goes, fourth axle, non-driven, usually liftable, drops down only when carrying a heavy load, fifth axle, tag axle, sometimes steerable for tighter turning radius. Each axle can be connected to a smart control system. This system continuously monitors load per axle, truck speed, turning angle, and road gradient. 
Based on that data, axles will automatically engage or lift, reducing drag and improving traction. In mobile crane configurations, every axle is vital, especially because the crane's weight is always present. These setups often include rear axle steering or hydraulic stabilization to navigate tight spaces. This combination of mechanical engineering and software makes 10x4 trucks surprisingly nimble, even though they look like behemoths. So why not just use a semi-truck and trailer combo? Here's why. Trailers are great for long distance hauls, but for vehicles that carry heavy equipment all the time, like mobile cranes, a trailer isn't practical. A 10x4 rigid chassis allows the equipment to be permanently mounted, making the truck more versatile and faster to deploy. Compare it to 6x4 trucks, these offer good power but limited load capacity without a trailer and 8x4 trucks, more popular in medium-heavy applications, but can fall short when constant axle load distribution is needed. The 10x4 gives you more load capacity than 8x4, shorter length than a tractor trailer, and better maneuverability thanks to steerable tag axles and advanced suspension systems. That's why you'll often see 10x4s carrying big cranes, recovery gear, concrete pumps, or hook lift systems in urban environments where trailers can't go. Axle laws aren't the same everywhere. In the Netherlands, Finland, and Sweden, you'll find lots of 10x4 and 10x6 trucks. These countries allow heavier vehicles, provided the axle count supports the weight and road damage is minimized. In Germany or France, you'll see more compact trucks with steerable trailers, and in Scandinavia, trucks are often custom-built for specialized applications, like wind turbine delivery or crane operations. Each configuration depends on local laws, road infrastructure, and the weight tax system. More axles might mean higher tolls, but the payoff is being able to carry massive payloads legally and safely. And in crane trucks especially, each axle isn't just helping with load, it's helping with balance, safety, and movement precision. So next time you see a truck with five axles, don't just see extra wheels. See a smart, regulated, purpose-built machine designed to do something no other truck can. Whether it's hauling a 40-ton mobile crane through tight city streets or carrying massive loads across borders, the 10x4 is the heavy-duty Swiss army knife of the truck world. It's not just about strength, it's about balance, control, and precision engineering. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more truck deep dives every week. Got questions about axles, cranes, or truck types? Drop them below. Your comment might inspire our next episode.